Chapter 771 Argument Over the Shop When they got home, Gunning went to her room and searched on the internet for beauty salons which were available to be rented. There were several beauty salons for rent, but Gunning took a liking to one of them at first glance, because it was located in Fengshang Shopping Mall, and was almost twice as big as Kamai Beauty Salon. In addition, this beauty salon was very new and it had opened for just two years. Gunning then read the comments on the beauty salon, and found out that its products weren't popular among the customers. It seemed that it wasn't profitable because of the low quality skincare products. The next day, Gunning went to Fengshang Shopping Mall to look at the beauty salon, which was for rent, in person. It was an exclusive beauty salon, so it was furnished and decorated luxuriously. Welcome. The moment Gunning walked inside, a saleswoman walked forward to greet her. Although this shop was going to be rented, they still needed to serve every customer with enthusiasm as long as it was still open. Hi, I read the post about your beauty salon being for rent on the internet, so I came here to have a look, Gunning said. Please wait a second. I need to tell our manager, the saleswoman said, then went to find the manager. During that time, Gunning glanced around the inside of this beauty salon, and she was satisfied with it. The manager walked out in a hurry once she heard that someone came here to look at the beauty salon. She was a woman in late thirties. Although her features were attractive, her skin wasn't in a good condition. If she, who worked in this beauty salon couldn't take good care of her own skin, how could she persuade her customers to spend money here? It's so nice to meet you, miss. I'm the manager of this beauty salon, and my surname is Ding. May I have your name? The woman greeted Gunning politely, then sat down across from Gunning. Nice to meet you, Manager Ding. My surname is Gu, Gunning said. Miss Gu, do you want to look around first, or hear my introduction of the beauty salon? Manager Ding asked. Please tell me something about the beauty salon first. May I know the reason why you want to rent it out? Gunning asked. It isn't profitable, and we lost a lot of money, so our boss wants to rent out it, Manager Ding said. However, she didn't tell Gunning that their skincare products were of bad quality. This beauty salon was furnished and decorated in a luxurious way, but didn't use high end skincare products, which was playing foul with consumers. However, Manager Ding wasn't the boss, so she couldn't decide what kind of products they should use. She had tried to persuade her boss to change the skincare products, but her boss said that the skincare products were provided by one of her friends. If they changed them, her friend would be displeased. Manager Ding thought that business was business, and it was unreasonable that her boss sacrificed the shop in order to not annoy her friend. However, some people tended to ask for returns just because others owed them a favor. Her boss's friend had helped her boss before so her boss had to accept it. Therefore, her boss could only rent out this beauty salon after losing a lot of money. Afterwards, Gunning talked with manager Ding about its rent. The rent was the official price set by Feng Shang Shopping Mall, and Gunning needed to pay an extra amount of money for its furnishing and decoration. Because it was furnished and decorated in a luxurious way, it cost nearly 2 million yuan, but there was no need for Gunning to pay the full amount. This shop had been open for nearly two years after all, so it wasn't worth that much money. In the end, its boss charged a million yuan for its furnishing and decoration. As for its skincare products, Gunning could choose whether to buy them as well, or not. Gunning obviously wouldn't buy them, because she only used Koozie. Since Gunning was very satisfied with it, she decided to rent it right away. This shop was located in the Tang family's building anyway, so there was nothing she should be worried about. However, when they were about to sign the contract, an accident happened. Two women came in right when they were ready to sign their names. One was a noble woman over 40 years old. The other was a stylish young woman in her early 20s. When they found out that Gunning was signing the contract with Manager Ding, they were annoyed. Manager Ding, didn't I tell you that I need a few more days to think about it? Why did you rent this shop out to another person? The young girl said to interrupt them. She was very beautiful with shiny skin but was very unkind as well. Seeing them walking inside, Manager Ding stood up and said with dissatisfaction, Miss Sheng, you didn't give me an affirmative answer, and we can't wait for your decision the entire time. We want to rent this shop right now, so you can't sign the contract with her. 
the middle-aged woman said with arrogance, Mrs. Zheng, I'm sorry, I already had an agreement with this miss, Manager Ding said, Mrs. Zheng frowned, she didn't expect that Manager Ding would dare to reject her offer, and she got mad at once, Manager Ding, how dare you reject my offer, do you know who I am, if you annoy me, it's impossible for you to rent out this shop, hearing that, Manager Ding was a little scared and worried, although she wasn't clear about Mrs. Zheng's family background, she knew that they must be powerful or rich given their attitude. Their beauty salon didn't have any powerful support, so it wasn't difficult for those relatively rich people to take advantage of them. Even so, Manager Ding still chose to stick to her principles, since she already had an agreement with Ding. She couldn't yield to power. Mrs. Zheng, I'm afraid I can't accept your offer. I don't know who you are, and I already had an agreement with this miss. You Mrs. Zheng was angrier. Manager Ding, let me tell you right now. I'm the wife of the chairman of the Hushin group. If you dare act against me, you can't bear the result. Chapter 772 Bridging Wen Mai's Risk The Hushin Group was a well-known large business group with over 10 billion yuan in assets in City B Although it wasn't among the top-level families in City B, ordinary people like Manager Ding didn't dare to annoy it at all. It was super easy for them to deal with her. Manager Ding remained silent, she was still reluctant to yield to the pressure. However, she wasn't the boss of this beauty salon so she was afraid that it might cause her boss trouble. She didn't know Ganing's family background either, so she was also worried that it wouldn't do Ganing any good if she annoyed the Zheng family. Seeing Manager Ding being scared, Mrs. Zheng was pleased. Miss, I think you better give it up right now, and we can forgive you, she said to Ganing. Oh, really? Ganing asked, but didn't seem scared at all. I'm curious what you will do if I'm not willing to give it up. Hearing that, Mrs. Zheng and Miss Zheng were annoyed at once. How dare you act against the Zheng family? Miss Zheng raised her voice. I'm not acting against the Zheng family, but you're acting against me. What? I don't think that the Zheng family has the right to grab others' things away. Ganing argued. You to Miss Zheng's astonishment, Ganing wasn't afraid of the Zheng family at all. She felt humiliated, and got angrier. You have to give it up whether you're willing to or not. Ganing sneered but didn't say a word, then signed her name on the contract. Seeing that, Miss Zheng ran over trying to grab the contract away. She, of course, failed to even touch its corner. I've signed the contract already. If party breaches this contract, they must pay the liquidated damages. Ganing shook the contract in her hand with a proud smile. You Mrs. Zheng and Miss Zheng were in a rage now. Manager Ding, give me the contract. Tear it into pieces and we can sign a new one, Mrs. Zheng ordered. Although Ganing had already signed the contract, Partia could still break it. They just needed to pay the liquidated damages. Since Ganing had already signed the contract, Manager Ding accepted the result, and said to Mrs. Zheng, Mrs. Zheng, I'm afraid I can't. If you keep yelling at us, I'll call the police. You Mrs. Zheng was shocked that Manager Ding dared to threaten her. Call the police? Mrs. Zheng said coldly, do you think the police will help you? In your dreams, Manager Ding, you're not afraid of us. How about your boss? Where is your boss? I need to meet her and tell her in person. I don't believe that she would dare to annoy us. I'm sorry. Our boss went abroad, and she can't meet you right now. I'm completely in charge of this, Mrs. Zheng. Manager Ding did her best to stay calm, but she actually didn't have any confidence in herself. Mrs. Zheng, Miss Zheng, I think you better leave before I lose my temper, otherwise you can't bear the result. Ganing warned them. She was ready to teach them a lesson. There was no need to be polite to rude people. Ganing's warning was quite provocative in Mrs. Zheng's and Miss Zheng's ears. How dare you! Miss Zheng ran to Ganing and raised her hand to slap Ganing. However, it was impossible for her to hurt Ganing. The second she raised her hand, Ganing caught her wrist and broke it without hesitation. Ah! Miss Zheng had never been treated like that before, and she immediately shouted from the pain. Seeing that, everyone was shocked. It wasn't easy to break a person's wrist in a second. Manager Ding soon realized that Ganing's family must be more influential than the Zheng family, if Ganing dared to break Miss Zheng's wrist. If not, Ganing must be a naive girl. However, Ganing was a very mature young girl, so she couldn't be that naive. Either way, it already happened. 
and manager Ding could only hope that Gunning's family was more powerful than the Zheng family so that she and the beauty salon could be safe. Wen Mai. Mrs. Zheng was scared. Gunning let Zheng Wen Mai go, and Mrs. Zheng ran over to support her without delay. Mom, my hand is so sore. Zheng Wen Mai cried, like she was dying. Nobody dared to hurt Zheng Wen Mai before, so this was the most painful thing she had ever been through. You little beach, how dare you hurt my daughter? I'll kill you. Mrs. Zheng lost her reason, and yelled, attacking Gunning. Chapter 773 Gunning's Fans Mom. Zheng Wen Mai was frightened, and walked to her mother in a hurry. However, her right wrist was broken, so she could only support her mother with her left hand, but she wasn't strong enough to do that. Zheng Wen Mai felt helpless, and abruptly looked to manager Ding. What are you looking at? Help me support my mother. Call an ambulance and the police right now. Catch this murderer. Manager Ding gave Gunning a glance. But Gunning just shrugged. Don't worry about me. Just call the police. Although manager Ding sided with Gunning, it wasn't a good thing if Mrs. Zheng and Zheng Wenmai were both injured after all. Zheng Wenmai glared at Gunning. I promise that you'll be put in jail. It sounded as if the prison was run by her family. You and your mother attacked me first. If you hadn't attacked me, neither of you would have been hurt. I have the right to defend myself, Gunning said. Gunning wasn't worried at all because she was confident that she had done nothing wrong. So what, let's see whether the police will help you or side with us. Zheng Wenmai didn't bother to hide her arrogance now. If Gunning's family was less influential than the Zheng family, she would be in great trouble today. However, her family wasn't. Gunning stopped wasting time on Zheng Wenmai, but turned to look at manager Ding. She gave manager Ding the signed contract and said, I've already signed the contract. We can go finish the legal procedure together later. Sure. Manager Ding took the contract, but she wasn't sure whether they could leave when the police came. She subconsciously chose to believe Gunning, but she still felt anxious before this problem was solved. Gunning didn't make a call for help at all. Instead, she went to sit on the sofa, and waited for the police's arrival. Mrs. Zheng was heavily hit and couldn't move right now. You will pay for what you've done today. Mrs. Zheng glared at Gunning, and did her best to say a whole sentence aloud. I am waiting here, but what can you do to me? Gunning said airily. She even crossed her legs on the sofa, and had a sip of tea. Let's see. Zheng Wenmai threatened Gunning. Ha ha, ha ha. Hearing Zheng Wenmai's threat, Gunning couldn't help laughing out loud. Miss Zheng. What else can you do except threaten me? Yu Zheng Wenmai was mad, but didn't know what to say. Before long, three young policemen arrived, who called the police. The leading policeman asked, I did. Manager Ding walked ahead. Before the policeman could say another word, Zheng Wenmai interrupted them. Hi, I'm the daughter of the chairman of Hushan Group, Zheng Wenmai. This girl, Zheng Wenmai pointed at Gunning broke my wrist and made my mother fall. My mother can barely move now, and I hope that you can punish her strictly. The three policemen felt uncomfortable hearing her order, but they were afraid of the Hushan group and the Zheng family. Nevertheless, when they looked at Gunning after Zheng Wenmai's accusation, their eyes lit up at once, then they walked to Gunning in a hurry. Zheng Wenmai thought that they were going to arrest Gunning, but she was shocked the next second. Hi, are you Goddess Gu? A policeman asked. In fact, he already had the answer. Yeah, I am. Nice to meet you. Gunning smiled and greeted them politely. She wasn't surprised that they recognized her. Hearing that, the three policemen were more excited. Goddess Gu, it's so nice to meet you. I'm your biggest fan, and I've watched all the videos and news about you. You're so amazing. Exactly. Not only us. But our colleagues in the police station are also all your fans. You're a kung fu master in our eyes. Seeing the three policemen being so excited, everyone else were confused. Hey! What are you doing? We called the police to tell you arrest her, not to admire her. Zheng Wenmai was in a rage. In her eyes, Gunning wasn't goddess Gu, but a little by ch. Maybe she was too angry to think about the reason why they admired Gunning so much. So she sounded arrogant as usual. The three policemen then turned to look at Zheng Wenmai, but they looked very serious all of a sudden. Oh, what has she done? A policeman asked coldly. It was obvious that he totally forgot Zheng Wenmai's accusation, and his attitude towards Zheng Wenmai was completely different from that towards Gunning. 
Yu Zheng Wenmai was angry. They didn't pay attention to what she said at all. Zheng Wenmai lost her patience, but she had to repeat herself. I said she broke my wrist and made my mother fall. My mother can barely move now, so you must punish her strictly. I think that you must have done something wrong beforehand, a policeman said with certainty. He didn't even bother to ask for details, and chose to believe Gunning. Chapter 774 I don't care about the Zheng family. In addition, Gunning was well known for her kind and helpful actions, so her fans didn't believe that she could be a troublemaker. You to Zheng Wenmai's astonishment, the policeman believed that she was the one who caused this trouble before he even asked for details. She stole our shop, and when we told her to give it back to us, she refused and hurt us. Really? Is this shop yours? The policeman asked. It was obvious that he didn't believe Zheng Wenmai. It isn't. But Zheng Wenmai explained, but the policeman interrupted her. Since this isn't your shop, there is no such thing as her stealing it from you. Yu Zheng Wenmai was struck dumb. Seeing that, Mrs. Zheng opened her mouth to help her daughter. This shop is for rent, and we promised to rent it a few days ago. We came here today to sign the contract. But she did it before us. It was true that they had said that they would consider renting it, but they didn't make the final decision, so the owner of this shop had the right to rent it out to someone else. You just said that you want to rent it, but did you sign the contract? The policeman asked. He saw the contract in Gunning's hands, which meant that Gunning signed it before them. You Mrs. Zheng didn't know what to say. No matter what kind of deal it is, you must pay the money and sign the contract first so that it's legal. Don't you know that? The policeman said. Hearing that, Mrs. Zheng glared at the policeman in great anger. At this moment, an ambulance arrived, but Mrs. Zheng and Zheng Wenmai were unwilling to leave, and they demanded that the policeman arrest Gunning and put her in jail. They even threatened the three policemen. If the three policemen didn't follow their order, they would make them jobless. Although the three policemen were afraid of the Zheng family's influence, they still chose to protect Gunning. It's your fault, and you must bear the result yourself. They warned Mrs. Zheng and Zheng Wenmai. Great, very well, I promise that the Zheng family will never let you get away with this. Zheng Wenmai repeatedly threatened them, but Gunning and the others had already heard enough of it. Gunning felt touched by the three policemen's protection. They protected her not because of her wealth, but because they admired her. In that case, she wouldn't see them lose their jobs because of her. I don't think that the Zheng family can act against the law, and I can tell you that it's impossible for them to be jobless. I can arrange a better job for them, and I don't care about the Zheng family, Gunning said with confidence. She wasn't conceited, because she had the ability to do that. Hearing that, the three policemen were thrilled, especially when they heard that Gunning didn't care about the Zheng family, they admired her more than ever. Given Gunning's network, the Zheng family's influence was barely comparable to hers. Manager Ding was now also certain that Gunning's family must be more powerful than the Zheng family. You Mrs. Zheng and Zheng Wenmai were also scared now. They couldn't help but think that maybe Gunning wasn't someone they could mess with. Right as Mrs. Zheng and Zheng Wenmai were still thinking about it, Several doctors pulled them away. After Mrs. Zheng and Zheng Wenmai were gone, Gunning asked the three policemen, What are your names? The three policemen felt honored when Gunning asked for their names. Nice to meet you, Goddess Gu. My name's Tong Zhao, I'm Wu Xuanji. My name is Hu Yiming. Great. Tong Zhao, Wu Xuanji. Hu Yiming, don't worry. I promise that you'll all be fine, Gunning said with sincerity. Hearing that, they were relieved. Goddess Gu, we don't care if we lose our job, Tong Zhao said. Since they chose to protect Gunning, they wouldn't feel regretful. Yes, we're not afraid. We've done nothing wrong after all. It is their fault, and they should be punished according to the law. If our leader fires us and yields to power or wealth, I don't think that this job is meaningful anymore. Hu Yiming said, right, we're unwilling to do illegal things since we are policemen. If it is possible, we hope that we can work for you, Goddess Gu, Wu Xuanji joked, but it was also his real thought. In other people's eyes, it might not be a sensible decision, because their job was a cradle-to-grave job, and many people ached for it. However, different people had different values and it wasn't a bad thing if they could get a better job. Moreover, they couldn't be more willing to work for their idol. We can't promise that we know everything, but we can learn.
Tong Zhao added, Chapter 775 Gunning's Influence Other people in the shop were all shocked by their words, and the way they addressed Gunning. Why did they become Goddess Gu's loyal fans? Why were they willing to lose their jobs for her, and even hope to work for her? Anyway, the three young policemen were upright young men. It was Mrs. Zheng and Zheng Wenmai's fault after all. Gunning understood that they were very honest and sincere, so Gunning was willing to give them a chance. Sure. If you lose your job one day or you want to quit your current job, you can contact me. I promise that you'll get a better salary in my company. They had protected her at the cost of losing their job, so she would treat them well. As policemen, they were trustworthy men too. It wasn't likely that they could become senior workers right away, but it was easy for them to be middle workers, and they could become senior workers if they had the ability sooner or later. Afterwards, Gunning gave them her name card. The three policemen were struck dumb for a second, then got thrilled. They took Gunning's name card without delay, in case she drew it back if they were a second late. Deal. Thank you so much, Goddess Gu. I hope that we can meet again soon. Gunning smiled. See you in the future. Sure. The three policemen beamed. They didn't lack a job, but just wanted to work with Gunning. The three policemen left later. Manager Ding. Let's go to finish the legal procedure. Gunning looked at Manager Ding who was still shocked. Oh, right. Hearing Gunning's voice, Manager Ding got her mind back and walked outside with Gunning. Once they were gone, the staff in the beauty salon began to discuss it. Who is that girl? She doesn't care about the Zheng family. The three policemen called her Goddess Gu, and they're even willing to lose their jobs for her. I'm so curious. If she takes over this beauty salon, can we stay? No idea. Who knows? I hope that we can stay. I think that Miss Gu isn't a simple girl. She seems very confident and successful. Most of the staff had positive comments on Gunning, but there was a beautician who disliked Gunning out of jealousy. I think I've heard the title Goddess Gu somewhere before, but I can't remember now, a female staff member said. Hearing that, the others all looked to her. Really? You've heard of her name? They were all curious. She isn't a star, or famous, and there isn't any news about her on the internet. Where could you have learned her name? The beautician said with disdain. She didn't think that Gunning was a goddess, but just an ordinary pretty girl. However, when she mentioned the word internet, the female staff remember at once. Oh, yes. I read her name on the internet, saying that. She took out her phone and searched Gunning's name. No way. The others were all surprised. They even guessed whether Gunning was really a star. Without delay, they also took out their phones to search for news about Goddess Gu. In a minute, they found countless pieces of news about Goddess Gu. When they saw the photos of Goddess Gu on the internet, they were astonished. Jesus, that girl is really Goddess Gu. After reading the news about Gunning, they were shocked once more. No wonder the three policemen admire Gunning so much. I've become her fan now too. Indeed, she's saved so many people's lives. Oh, she's also the boss of Jade Beauty Jewelry. It's one of the most popular jewelry brands right now. Ah, why didn't I take a photo with her just then? They were all excited to find out that Gunning was Goddess Gu, and the beautician who was jealous of Gunning felt a little embarrassed. After a while, Manager Ding came back and she told them that the beauty salon was going to have brand new furnishing and decoration. It was also up to them whether they wanted to stay or not. Hearing that, they all said that they wanted to stay. Manager Ding was surprised by their excitement. She understood that they wanted to keep their jobs, because it was difficult to find a new job. However, their unusual enthusiasm was really confusing. Right when Manager Ding was about to ask them, they told her the reason. We are, of course, Willing to work for Goddess Gu. I believe that Goddess Gu is able to run this beauty salon well. Me too. I think that we can live a better life if she's the boss. They all changed their way of addressing Gunning after just a short while, which proved that they admired Gunning from their hearts. Manager Ding, on the other hand, was still confused. Why do you call her Goddess Gu as well? Look at this. A beautician showed Manager Ding the screen of her phone. After reading the news, Manager Ding was also amazed. She didn't expect that her new boss could be so unbelievable. Nobody in Feng Shang shopping mall hadn't heard of Jade Beauty Jewelry, and she knew that it was a very successful brand. Chapter 776 Zheng Wenhao In the following hours, 
Manager Ding was busy dealing with her work. Although this beauty salon wasn't profitable, they had many VIP members, otherwise they would have closed a long time ago. Therefore, the first thing she needed to do was to call the members one by one, and tell them that the beauty salon had a new boss now. It would have brand new furnishing, decoration, and skincare products before it reopened in around a week. Moreover, the members could have a free try on the opening day. If it wasn't effective, they could have their total membership fee back. In fact, the beauticians weren't confident to promote their service in that way. They knew that Gunning would use high-end skincare products, but they didn't believe that the products could be effective immediately no matter how good they were. Gunning was an unusual boss. Anyway, they still chose to trust Gunning and they were full of anticipation at the same time. If the skincare products were that effective, this beauty salon would be successful sooner or later. Even though many VIP members were disappointed in them, they still wanted to have a try after hearing the good news. It wouldn't do them any harm if they just had a try after all. They could also have their total membership feedback if it wasn't effective. Many VIP members also asked the beauticians what brand they were going to use, and the beauticians told them that the brand was Koozie. Actually, those beauticians had never heard of Koozie before themselves. Even manager Ding knew very little about it, and all she knew was that it was a new skincare brand. Manager Ding didn't trust new brands, but she believed in Gunning. Koozie was actually gaining a lot of fame in the capital, but not many people in City B had heard of it yet. Coincidentally, three of the VIP members had heard of Koozie, two of them had used it before while the other one hadn't, so she was very excited after hearing that the new brand they were going to use was Koozie. What? Is it really Koozie, the skincare products produced by Colne in the capital? The woman who had heard of Koozie asked with excitement. Facing this VIP member's unusual reaction, the beautician who called her was surprised. It was obvious that this VIP member had heard of Koozie and it seemed like she liked it very much. Was Koozie a very good brand? Yeah. It is Koozie which is produced by Colon in the capital, the beautician answered, great. Although Koozie is a new brand, it's super effective. My friend in the capital bought a set for me, and my skin is in a much better condition now. I was also wondering when Koozie will open a branch in City B to my surprise, you're going to use it soon? The woman sounded delighted on the phone, which affected the beautician. Was Koozie really that amazing? The woman added, to be honest with you. I planned to stop spending money on your services after I used Koozie. Since you're going to use it as well in your beauty salon, I think that I will have to visit your beauty salon more often in the future. Hearing that, the beautician was amused. The beautician then told her colleagues this amusing story, and her colleagues were amazed too. They were looking forward to using Koozie now. Zheng Wenmai's wrist was moved back to its normal place after she came to the hospital but it was still painful and she could barely move it. Mrs. Zheng was also seriously injured, and had to stay in the hospital for a few days. On their way to the hospital, they called their family. Zheng Wenmai's father, Zheng Lilin, was in a meeting right now, so her older brother, Zheng Wenhao, visited them. The moment Zheng Wenhao showed up, Zheng Wenmai threw herself into his arms and burst into tears. Wenhao, you must take revenge for me and mother. After that, she told him what they had been through today. Zheng Wenmai hadn't told Zheng Wenhao much details on their way to the hospital, and Zheng Wenhao hadn't asked much either because he was in a hurry to go to the hospital. After hearing the details, Zheng Wenhao was mad. What? How dare she hurt you after knowing that you were born in the Zheng family? Don't worry. I promise that I'll take revenge for you and mother. Zheng Wenhao, Mrs. Zheng and Zheng Wenmai had a similar character. They were all selfish and self-centered people, but were also very protective towards their own family members. Mrs. Zheng was Zheng Wenhao's stepmother, but she treated him very well, so he treated her as his own mother too. As for Zheng Wenmai, Zheng Wenhao had spoiled her rotten. Without hesitation, Zheng Wenhao called his friend who was a member of a gang, and told him to damage the beauty salon as soon as possible. He didn't bother to investigate Gunning's background. In his eyes, he was the only son of the Zheng family, and everyone should know his importance. After that, he called another friend who was a division chief in the Public Security Bureau, and told him to fire the three policemen. His friend, of course, agreed with alacrity, 
and even promised to solve this problem within a minute. However, they didn't know that Gunning had already called Tang Yanfan beforehand. She told Tang Yanfan about what had happened today in the shopping mall, and hoped that he could help her to prevent the three policemen from losing their jobs. Gunning understood that the Zheng family wouldn't give up, so she had to be prepared. Chapter 777 The Zheng Family's Revenge the director of the Public Security Bureau was a member of Tang Yanhang's group in politics, so he was, of course, willing to help once Tang Yanhang opened his mouth. In addition, it wasn't the three policemen's fault after all, so it was completely above board. When Liu Guoxing, the leader of the police station where Tong Zhao and the other two policemen worked, received a call from the director of the Public Security Bureau, he was shocked. To his astonishment, the director of the Public Security Bureau would make a call in person to protect Tong Zhao, Wu Xuanji and Hu Yiming who were just three junior policemen. Since the director gave the order to keep their job in person, Liu Oguashing didn't dare to disobey. After hanging up the call with the director, Liu Oguashing asked Tong Zhao and the other two policemen what they had done today. The director calling to protect their jobs must be because of something they had done today. Tong Zhao and the other two policemen thought that the Zheng family was punishing them. They weren't afraid of it, and told their leader everything. After hearing their explanation, Liu Oguashing nodded. Although they didn't mention that Gunning had promised to protect them, Liu Oguashing had heard of Gunning's name. He also admired Gunning himself, and soon realized that it was Gunning who wanted to help them keep their jobs. Liu Oguashing was aware that Gunning had a powerful network, but he was still greatly surprised when the director called him in person. Leader, if you want to fire us for the sake of the Zheng family, it's fine and we can accept it, Tong Zhao said. Yeah. Goddess Ge promised to find us a better job, Hu Yiming said. Before Wu Xuanji could say a word, Liu Oguashing interrupted them. Who said that I'm going to fire you? Um, you're not going to fire us? Tong Zhao and the other two policemen were surprised. The director just called, and he gave an order that you are to keep your jobs, Liu Oguashing said. In addition, when Liu Oguashing heard that Goddess Ge had promised to arrange a better job for them, he thought that he should maintain a good relationship with them, which would be beneficial to him. Liu Guoxing wasn't a selfish or snobbish person, but he knew what the right thing to do for his career was. What? The director? Tong Zhao and the other two policemen rounded their eyes in shock. Wow, I think we'll be safe with Goddess Gu's help. Exactly, but I'm actually a little disappointed, because I prefer to work for Goddess Gu. Right. Why don't we quit our jobs right now? They totally forgot that their leader was sitting right in front of them, and talked about it in a loud voice filled with excitement. Hearing their conversation, Liu Oguashing was displeased. You can leave now. I need to deal with other things. Liu Oguashing chased them out. In fact, Liu Oguashing knew that they were upright diligent young men, so he was unwilling to see them quit their job. However, without the director's call, he would yield to the Zheng family's influence. He wasn't a senior leader in the organization after all, and he could barely protect himself. Half an hour later, Liu Oguashing received a call from a division chief. The division chief gave an order to fire the three policemen, but Liu Oguashing rejected it. Liu Oguashing also told the division chief that it was the director's order. Hearing that, the division chief was shocked. He didn't expect that the director would protect the three policemen and he didn't dare to say another word. He had promised to settle it on the phone with Zheng Wenhao, but now he failed. Even though he failed, he still needed to call Zheng Wenhao and tell him the result. When Zheng Wenhao heard that the director of the Public Security Bureau gave an order to keep the three policemen's job in person, he was surprised and mad, but he couldn't do anything about it. The Zheng family didn't dare to annoy the director of the Public Security Bureau. However, it wasn't the end yet. If they couldn't make the three policemen jobless, they could teach them a lesson by beating them. Therefore, Zheng Wenhao made another call and was determined to pay the three policemen back. Wenhao, how is it? Were they fired? Zheng Wenmai asked with anxiety. No, they're being protected by a senior official. Don't worry, I'll send some people to teach them a lesson. I promise that they won't be able to work anymore. Zheng Wenhao said, Great, we must teach them along with that girl an unforgettable lesson, 
Zheng Wenmai said with an evil expression. In the beauty salon, they were sorting out skincare products. Their ex-boss told them to sell those skincare products themselves, and that they could share the money. The ex-boss of this beauty salon was a rich lady, so she didn't care about the loss of several million yuan. When they were about to place the skincare products outside for sale at a reduced price, a group of strong men dashed inside and damaged everything in the beauty salon, which scared them and they didn't dare to fight back. The bunch of strong men didn't leave until everything was damaged in the shop. This is the result if you've annoyed the Zheng family. One of them said, then they left. Once they were gone, manager Ding called Gunning and told her about what had just happened. Gunning was on her way to the antique street at this moment, because Du Leifeng told her that the skincare products had been delivered the from the capital. Gunning thought that she could take several real antiques with her there, but heard the bad news halfway. She wasn't surprised, because she knew that the Zheng family wouldn't give up, but it didn't mean that she wasn't mad. Gunning was in a rage. Chapter 778 Abandoned Old Building Gunning told manager Ding to keep the scene the same, and that she would be right there to deal with it. After hanging up the call with manager Ding, Gunning called Kay first. She told him to hack into the surveillance cameras around the beauty salon, and found out who those men that had damaged everything in the shop were. Afterwards, she called the police and directly assigned this task to Tong Zhao and the other two policemen. It was a great chance for them to prove their ability. The policeman who received Gunning's call reported it to Liu Guoxing without delay. Knowing that it was Gunning's beauty salon, Liu Guoxing took it seriously. Since Gunning asked Tong Zhao and the other two policemen to deal with this case, he wouldn't oppose it. Liu Guoxing understood that Gunning wanted to give them a chance to prove their ability. Once Tong Zhao and the other two policemen heard that Gunning's beauty salon had been damaged by a bunch of hoodlums, they were angry, and went to the shop in a hurry. Although Gunning didn't say that the Zheng family was involved in this mess, Tong Zhao and the other two policemen knew that the Zheng family must be the mastermind. How dare the Zheng family act against Goddess Gu? They're digging their own graves, Tong Zhao said in anger. Even though the Zheng family didn't know Gunning's identity yet, the Zheng family should know that Gunning wasn't someone they could mess with when they failed to make the three policemen lose their jobs. The Zheng family probably thought that they had the support of the director of the Public Security Bureau, but didn't know that the director actually protected them for the sake of Gunning. Either way, since Gunning had already told them that she didn't care about their influence, they shouldn't have taken action without a clear understanding of the problem. If they planned to take revenge, they should learn more about Gunning's background first. It was obvious that the Zheng family was too arrogant to do that. Right. I hope that Goddess Gu can teach them an unforgettable lesson, Hu Yiming said. Five minutes later, they arrived. The moment they arrived. They began to work together. Tong Zhao asked manager Ding for her first hand account. Hu Yiming took photos of the scene, and Wu Xuanji was recording. Is the computer damaged too? Tong Zhao asked. Yes, manager Ding replied. Give me the memory card for the surveillance cameras, please, Tong Zhao said. The computer was damaged, so they couldn't watch the videos on it. Therefore, they had to take out its memory card and use it in another computer. Sure. Manager Ding took out the memory card and gave it to Tong Zhao at once. Are there any other working computers? Tong Zhao asked. Yes, in the office, Manager Ding said. Please bring me there. I need to check the surveillance cameras, Tong Zhao said. Afterwards, Manager Ding guided them to the office, and watched the surveillance videos. They also made a copy of those videos. Twenty minutes later, Gunning came. When Gunning showed up, everyone got excited. Goddess Gu, those hoodlums are junior members of the Kyrin gang, Tong Zhao said to Gunning. The bunch of hoodlums had caused a lot of trouble in this area, so they were familiar with each other. Great, follow me to catch them later, Gunning said. No problem. The three policemen were looking forward to seeing Gunning's fighting skills. However, they forgot that they were the policemen and it was their duty to catch bad people. Manager Ding, how much is the loss? Gunning asked. All the damage of the sofas, tables, chairs, computers and skin care products amounts to 1.58 million yuan, Manager Ding said, then showed Gunning the list. Oh, if adding the staff fee and the decoration fee, it'll be 2 million yuan in all. Great, I'll make them pay it. 
Ganning took the list. After that, she left with Tong Zhao and the other two policemen. Manager Ding and the rest of the staff stayed in the shop to sort out the unbroken skincare products for sale at a reduced price. It would be a waste of money if they dumped them in the trash can, so they decided to sell them as planned. When Ganning and the others walked into the parking lot, Ganning called Kay and asked him for the location of the bunch of hoodlums. Following Kay's guidance, Ganning along with the three policemen drove to find them. Kay noticed from the surveillance cameras that the bunch of hoodlums stopped their cars at a large abandoned piece of land. There were three abandoned buildings standing there, and Kay was sure that they had to be hiding inside. Around a dozen minutes later, Ganning and the others arrived at the road which lead to the large abandoned piece of land. Ganning told Tong Zhao to stop the car. They weren't in a hurry to move forward. The three abandoned buildings stood in a line, and each of them occupied 700 square meters at least. The first old building was almost demolished, and the other two were still there. It was obvious that they had been abandoned here for a long time, and the demolishing didn't go on. Although Ganning didn't know the reason, she thought that this location wasn't bad, and it was a waste of resources. The land was around 3,000 square meters large, which wasn't suitable for building a living area but it was large enough to build office buildings, a hotel, or a clubhouse. There were so many rich people in City B, and they could be generous consumers. Since Gunning had the idea, she made up her mind to acquire it. After a short while, Gunning saw a van stopped at the front of the second abandoned building. Eight men were eating, drinking and watching TV in a room on the first floor. Apparently, they took it as a temporary abode. Why do I somehow feel like this place looks familiar? Hu Yiming said all of a sudden, and frowned. Have you walked by this place before? Wu Xuanji said. Impossible. I've only been in City B for three years now, and I've never been here before. Hu Yiming said with certainty. I somehow feel like this place looks familiar too, but I've never been here before either, Tong Zhao said, and he felt like it was so strange as well. Chapter 779 Meet a Female Ghost Seriously? You two are scaring me, Wu Xuanji said and felt nervous. Wu Xuanji, in fact, believed in ghosts, because he had encountered a strange thing before. When he was 15, his grandfather passed away, so he went back to his hometown along with his parents. However, his younger cousin who was eight that year fell unconscious all of a sudden on the day that his grandfather was buried even though he wasn't injured or sick. An old man said that his grandfather loved his younger cousin so much when his grandfather was alive, so his grandfather was unwilling to leave his younger cousin, and took his younger cousin's soul away with him, which was the reason why his younger cousin was unconscious. If they wanted to save his younger cousin's life, they must open his grandfather's grave, and set his younger cousin's soul free. After that, a group of people went to open his grandfather's grave, and an old man in their village said something that he didn't understand. Before long, his younger cousin woke up. It could also be a coincidence, but Wu Xuanji began to believe in superstitions ever since. Oh, right, I read it on the internet that this place is haunted, Tong Zhao said after thinking for a while. I've read the horrifying news about this haunted place as well. Five years ago, residents here all moved away because demolition work was about to begin at this place but a girl was raped to death one day before the demolition. When they destroyed the building the next day, the girl's brain was pressed out of her head. Hu Yiming said, and his face turned pale in fear. After a second, Hu Yiming added, the demolition stopped for a few weeks, and it didn't go on until they cleaned the body. However, many people died in the construction site one after another, so the demolition stopped forever. Once the news went abroad, Nobody dared to take over this project. Hearing the terrifying story, Wu Xuanji's body trembled a little, and felt scared. Gunning, on the other hand, stayed calm, and thought about whether this place was really haunted. Ever since she had run into zombies, Gunning didn't think that a ghost was a strange thing. Goddess Gu, don't you think it's scary? Seeing Gunning being so calm, Tong Zhao asked with curiosity. Not at all. Gunning replied. Gunning's reaction embarrassed them. They were three adult men while she was a young girl, but she wasn't scared at all, while they were terrified. There are two explanations for it. First, the girl's ghost kept causing trouble, 
Second, the girl's family did it on purpose to get revenge for the girl on the land developer, but nobody has proof. Anyway, no land developer dares to develop this land anymore, and nobody dares to walk in it either, Tong Zhao said. I'm going inside. Do you dare to follow me? Gunning asked. What? They were all shocked. Goddess Gu, what are you going to do inside? Wu Xuanji asked. Those hoodlums are right inside, Gunning said, then opened the car door. Gunning didn't force them to follow her, because this wasn't a safe place, and not everyone had the courage to walk inside. Although Gunning wasn't sure whether the story was real, she was more interested in this place. If there was a real female ghost, she could strike a deal with it, or destroy it with fire as she had done to the zombies. Gunning was confident that she could handle it. Tong Zhao and the other two policemen disliked this place, but Gunning, who was a young girl didn't care about it at all. It would be humiliating if they, who were three adult men, quit at this moment. Therefore, seeing Gunning getting out, they followed her at once, and walked towards the abandoned buildings. Gunning used her jade eyes along the way to check the inside and outside of the abandoned old buildings. She wondered whether she could find the female ghost in the story. All of a sudden, Gunning sensed a cold look, and she looked over without delay. There was a woman standing in the ruins of the first destroyed building, and she was staring straight at Gunning. She looked very young and was in her early twenties. She was wearing a short chong sam and had long curly hair and a pale face. This woman was exactly the female ghost in the story. There was indeed a female ghost. When the female ghost met Gunning's eyes, it was shocked, because it knew that this young girl could see it. After that, the female ghost tried to run out, but it stepped backwards once it met light. It couldn't leave darkness, and would faint in light, so it could only wake up at night. Hey, can you hear me? Help me please. The female ghost shouted at Gunning. It wasn't sure whether Gunning could hear it, but it was hopeful since Gunning could see it. The female ghost sounded anxious and sincere. In fact, Gunning heard it, and only Gunning could hear it. But Gunning was busy dealing with something else right now, so she ignored the female ghost and turned her head away after a few seconds. The female ghost thought that Gunning couldn't hear it, and started to doubt whether Gunning had really seen it. It was impossible for a human being to see a ghost, and a normal human being would be scared if they saw a ghost. Thinking of that, the female ghost was disappointed. They went to the room where the eight men stayed and Gunning kicked the door open without delay. With a loud sound, the door was kicked open and the men inside got a fright. Even Tong Zhao and the others were surprised by her physical strength. Who those men inside got mad at once, and were about to swear at Gunning, but they shut their mouths the moment they saw the three policemen. Gunning wasn't in the mood to argue with them, so she dashed straight ahead. Tong Zhao and the others, of course, followed her. Those hoodlums began to fight back but they had all drunk beer, and couldn't move fast, so they didn't have time to use their sticks when they were involved in the fierce fight. Tong Zhao and his friends were well-trained policemen, but they were still barely comparable to Gunning. It took a long time for them to beat a man down by working together, while Gunning was able to defeat several men in seconds by herself. When the three of them beat a man, Gunning had already defeated five hoodlums. Chapter 780 The Chiron Gang Won't Protect You Those hoodlums were all beaten down on the ground, moaning in pain after a few minutes. Goddess Gu, you're so awesome. Indeed. The three of us just beat one down by working together, but you alone beat five. That's nothing. A group of security guards weren't even a match for Goddess Gu AI there. You're right. Tong Zhao and his friends all complimented Gunning. Gunning smiled, but didn't say anything. Do you know who we are? We're members of the Chiron Gang. If you dare to hurt us, the Chiron Gang won't let you get away with it. A hoodlum threatened them. Although they were policemen, the Chiron Gang never cared about junior policemen without much power. Oh, really? Gunning sneered. I know that you are members of the Chiron Gang, but you're just a bunch of unimportant trash in the gang. I think that the Chiron Gang won't protect you. You, hearing that, those hoodlums panicked because Gunning told the truth. They used the Chiron Gang's name to bully others, but the Chiron Gang wouldn't protect them if they were caught. Now, they believed that Gunning had the ability to punish them as she wanted. What do you want to do? Ahulam asked with fear. You've damaged my shop and you must pay for it. 
Gunning said, follow us to the police station and tell us who the mastermind is, then pay the compensation which is 2 million yuan in all. Hearing that, those hoodlums understood that Gunning came here for the beauty salon. They were surprised that Gunning was able to find them within such a short time, and they were also shocked by the amount of money they had to pay. 2 million yuan. They were just a bunch of jobless hoodlums. How were they going to pay the 2 million yuan? They couldn't even afford 200,000 yuan. They could just get 50,000 yuan as the fee for helping the Zheng family damage Gunning's shop, because their leader took a large share of the pay. We don't have that much money, a hoodlum said. If you can't pay it, you'll be put in jail, Gunning said. No. Those hoodlums were scared. Can you give us a day to collect the money? Another hoodlum asked, right, please give us a day, and we'll pay it. They would rather pay the money than be put in jail. Gunning wasn't someone that they could mess with, so they chose to listen to her. No way. Gunning refused. If you can't pay the compensation, you can take a video and tell us who sent you to damage my shop in it, and I'll go find the person behind you. Even though they had mentioned the Zheng family when they went to damage the shop, Gunning didn't have solid proof, like a recording or video of it. Without solid proof, she couldn't ask for legal compensation. Compared with causing the Zheng family trouble without many people knowing about it, Gunning preferred to embarrass them in public. What? Those hoodlums felt cornered. Gunning, however, lost her patience. Are you doing it or not? I don't have time to waste on you. Miss Gu, it was a task assigned to us by our leader, and we don't know the details. He just told us that it's the Zheng family's order, a hoodlum said. He had no intention to abdicate his responsibility, but it was the truth. Oh, what's your leader's name and where is he right now? Gunning asked. His name is Liu Zongming and he's in the Earth nightclub, the hoodlum said. He didn't want to betray his leader, but he was left with no choice. Great, let's go to the Earth nightclub together then, Gunning said, and she meant everyone. Goddess Gutong Zhao and the other two were worried, because the Earth nightclub was the Kyren gang's place. They trusted Gunning, but they were still afraid of the Kyren gang. It's fine, Gunning said to comfort them. Since Gunning said so, they relaxed a little. After that, those hoodlums helped one another get back on their feet and walked outside. Tong Zhao dove their van, and Gunning sat with them, in case they escaped, while Wu Zhuanji and Hu Yiming drove the police car following them. Gunning couldn't help but think that she didn't get along with the Earth nightclub, because she had encountered a lot of trouble in which it was involved. She didn't want to waste time, so she directly called Manager Lu. Manager Lu had given Gunning his name card and told her to call him if she needed help in the Earth nightclub. Hi, Manager Lu, it's Gunning, and I need your help now, Gunning said once the call was answered. Hi, Miss Gu, what can I do for you? Manager Lu said, is there a man called Liu Zongming in your gang? He sent several men to damage my shop, so I need to talk to him. I'm on my way to the Earth nightclub now, Gunning said calmly. Manager Lu was displeased after hearing it and said with a serious face, Miss Gu, don't worry, I promise that I'll handle it well. Ten will see you at the door. Ten was precisely Ten who was Manager Lu's bodyguard. Thanks, Gunning said and hung up. Those hoodlums exchanged a glance with one another after hearing Gunning's conversation with Manager Lu on the phone. If this Manager Lu was the Manager Lu working in the Earth nightclub, they would be doomed. The eight hoodlums took a long breath in, and realized that they had made a terrible mistake today. Um, Miss Gu, we just did it according to our leader's order. Would you please forgive us this time? Please, we're already seriously injured. 